So guys, let's uh, have everybody sit up nice and straight and tall. You can sit with your feet crisscrossed too if you want, if that's more comfortable, that's okay. Okay, but everybody, big strong voice, say hands on my knees. Hands on my knees. Say back straight. Back straight. Say eyes on Wrenchy's eyes. Eyes on Wrenchy's eyes. So let me see you guys looking right here as I talk, okay? So today we're gonna talk about a few different things. We're gonna talk about some safety discussions, okay? Um, we're gonna talk about some things that'll be uh, good for you guys to learn, but they're even more important as you get older, okay? Um, and then we're gonna get to do some things. We have a few parents that are in here. If you don't have a parent in here with you today, we'll help you out, but we're gonna do a little bit of self-defense today too, okay? So uh, first thing, let's talk about Every month we talk about strangers, okay, and, and staying aware with strangers. So let's talk about what a stranger is. Who can raise your hand? Tell me what a stranger is. Declan. Somebody you don't go with. Somebody you don't go with. Very good. And what's the other thing that most people usually say? You got the one that I always have to tell people about. Um, somebody you don't know. Somebody you don't know. Yeah, so a stranger is somebody that you don't know or somebody that you might know a little bit but you can't go with, okay? Um, so we always talk about, uh, like, I'm an example of a stranger that you do know. You guys put your hands down. I'm an example of a stranger that you do know a little bit, but you're not allowed to go with by yourself. Okay, like if I asked you to go to my car after karate class, you can't go in my car because you don't know me outside of karate. So like our teachers in school, right, people like that. Uh, are all strangers bad people? No. No. no, of course not, right? There are, there are tons of people, we just don't know. Okay, are all strangers good people? No. no. Okay, and that's why we teach you guys about this stuff. This is why we want to be safe, because you don't know if a stranger is a good person or a bad person just by how they look or how they act. Okay, some people act really nice, and then they end up not being nice. Okay, and by the time you find that out, it's too late. Okay, if you go with somebody because they seem friendly, it's too late. Okay, um, so Nicholas, why don't you put that dot over on the side? Perfect. Um, okay, so that's sort of the background every month that we talk about with strangers. This month, we're going to talk about something that is not necessarily dealing with strangers, um, but it's, but we'll get there, okay? Um, says here, all right, can you do me a favor? Can you just make sure that that receiver didn't turn off? As long as you, you, you should, you should see like a little bar jumping back and forth. Is it, okay. No, it's fine. I just, sometimes it shuts off when it's not active. Okay, so uh, let's talk about our karate creed, okay? So number one, the karate creed, I'm sure we already did this. Everybody say, I am positive. Number two, I avoid drugs and other harmful things. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so harmful thing might be a stranger. That's what we we're just going over a little bit. Okay, but uh, the other part of that one is drugs. Okay, and a lot of times we don't talk about that with you guys because you're younger. Okay, and, and we'll get more, we'll talk to you more about that as you get older. But for today, what I want to talk to you about, did anybody hear this earlier in the week? Did anybody hear about drugs earlier in the week in karate? If you had a class already this week, you probably heard about it. Okay, so, so let's talk about what a drug is, okay? There are different types of drugs, okay? And what we're going to talk about is a drug is something that you should not be putting in your body, something that is not meant to be going in your body, okay? Now, there are good drugs, like uh, if we have to take Tylenol if we're sick or we have to take, you know, um, cough medicine or something like that. If you have to take a medication like that, are you allowed to do that as a kid and just decide for yourself, oh, I got a little bit of cough today, I'll go take some cough medicine. Can you decide that? No. Everybody say no. 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 Who do you have to talk to about that? Your parents. your parents, okay? So camera, make sure eyes here. Okay, so you gotta talk to your parents. Your parents give you medicine if, if you're supposed to take medicine. Um, there are also drugs that are good for somebody, but they're not meant for you, okay? Like sometimes your parents, they have to take medication. That's meant for them, so it's not meant for you, okay? So if, you have a, uh, if your parents have you know, a pill bottle and something that they have to take for their health, that is not something that you touch. That is not something that you take. Everybody say, oh, okay? So what's some medicine that's meant for one person should not be taken by you, okay? Um, so that's sort of what we talk about with drugs. So it's, it's something that you should not be putting in your body, something that's not meant for you, okay? Uh, and as you get a little bit older, we'll, we'll talk about different parts of that, okay? Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is let's talk about, this is, a, again, something you experience more when you get older, but you guys deal with it as kids, too, so make sure your eyes here. Every big, strong voice say, peer pressure. Peer pressure. 
Okay, now you guys have, have had this happen to you before. Maybe like a friend of yours or a brother or sister, they're like, hey, let's go do this. Let's go, and it might be something simple. Let's go play soccer. And you're like, I don't really feel like playing soccer. They're like, come on, come on, let's go play soccer. That's like peer pressure. They're trying to get you to do something. Now, that's a small example. That's not a big deal, right, if you go and play soccer. Okay, um, but as you get older, sometimes there's examples of bad peer pressure, like a friend trying to get you to do something that you know is not right. Okay, maybe they ask you to try and steal something from a store. Maybe they tell you to take you know, medicine or a drug that's not meant for you and that you shouldn't be taking. Okay? So if somebody is trying to tell you to do something and you know that it's the wrong thing, is it okay to say no to somebody? No. Big strong voice. Everybody say, oh! Of course, right? Okay, if you know something is wrong, you don't do it just because your friend tells you that you should do it. You don't do it because your brother or sister is telling you to do it and, and you know, bugging you to do it. You listen to you, okay? You listen to what you know is right and what's wrong, okay? Uh, and, and you'll deal with that more as you get older, okay? So very good. So that's our discussion today about drugs, uh, peer pressure, harmful things. Okay, now we're going to get into, guys, we're going to get into a little bit of self-defense, okay? So what I would like everybody to do is when I say go, uh, make sure you don't hit the camera thing, okay? But when, when I say go, I want everybody to stand up and find the dot that you were on earlier. Okay, so ready, set, go. Everybody stand up. Find your dot again. Very good. Okay, if, uh, if we have any parents that are here, why don't you guys come on in? You can stand right next to your kids. All right. All right. Uh, where is, let's see, Declan. Why don't you go and swap with Derek? Okay, Derek, go over to that one. Ainsley, you can stand in the middle of your brother and sister. Okay. Very good. So, um, so for all the kids that don't have, um, that don't have an adult in the room, we'll, we'll get you guys gathered up in a second, okay? But uh, actually, why don't we do that now? Since they are, can you make like a, a half circle in the back or a couple of them? He went to talk to Shidoshi. All right, so we got there. All right, so we got a couple in the back. Okay. All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is some self-defense and self-defense against strangers, okay? So uh, all the kids, what I want you guys to do is I want you to get in your a little karate stance, so put one foot in front, one foot in back, and everybody put your hands up in front of you. Okay, just like this. So this is going to be our self-defense position today. Okay? The first part of self-defense, everybody say awareness. awareness. Okay, so if I'm here and I'm walking up to Declan, ready? If I'm walking toward Declan and I'm a stranger and I'm staring at him, he should know that I'm a stranger and that I'm walking toward him and staring at him. Okay? If you're just like standing there and you're just kind of like, oh, okay, I'll keep playing with my toy and target, I'll keep looking at it, and you don't know that somebody's around you, you're putting yourself in danger. So you don't have to be afraid of everybody, but you should be aware, okay? You should know what's going on around you. So if I'm a stranger and I'm walking toward Declan and I'm staring at him and I'm getting close to him, what, he sh what should he be doing? Running. Running, maybe? At the least, putting his hands up, okay? Using his voice, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, go get your grown-up. Go get your grown-up, okay? What you should not do is just stand there and let, this, the, let the person get six inches from you, okay? Because then it's too late. You're, they're too close to you, okay? So first step to being safe is awareness, okay? Second step, everybody say, use your voice. Use your voice. As a kid, your voice is one of the most important things that you can possibly use, okay? So we're going to practice this, and we're going to practice with a loud voice, okay? So what I want everybody, everybody just stand like this. Everybody put your feet normal, okay? When I say go, Everybody's going to get in your karate position. You're going to put your hands up, and you're going to say, back off as loud as you can. Okay, so ready, set, go. Back off. Very good. All right, now everybody relax. Okay, let's try it again. Ready, set, go. Back off. Very good. Okay, if you're in a store or you're in the playground, think about all the other noise that's going on around you. There's people playing. There's music playing in the store. You know, so you have to use your voice to get up all over that other stuff. Okay. And the other part of using your voice is that maybe you scare that stranger a little bit. You bat, they're like, whoa, I didn't expect this kid to be screaming at me, right? So you, maybe they get a little startled too. 
Okay, but step number one, awareness. Step number two, you use your voice. Okay, now step number three, we're going to do something, uh, and this is a little bit different. We'll, we'll get back to the stranger situation in a minute. We're going to practice a little four corner blocking, which is your star for this week. Okay, so all the parents, what I want you guys to do is just come and stand in front of the kids. Okay, and all the parents, what you guys are going to do is you're going to be attacking them on their four corners, and we're going to start off slow. Um, and we're just going to start with one corner. So if you guys think, all the parents, if you think about this like an X, okay, I'm taking my one hand and I'm attacking, I'm coming down on this part of the X, okay? Then I'm coming down on this part of the X, okay? And, we're, and then we will go to the low ones. We're going to start high, okay? But, but it's the four corners of an X. And if I'm doing this like with Isla, ready, Isla, can you look at me? So all the parents, what I want to try and do is not go to the front of her head because then it's hard for them to practice the block. I want to try and think like almost like I'm going to touch the back of her head with my hand. That way you kind of reach around and then she's going to block. Okay, all the kids, what you guys are going to do is you're going to have your hands up in front of you. Okay, and all the kids, let's just practice this part first. So ready? Every put one hand up over your head like this. So that's one corner. Okay, now put it back down. Okay, so try it again. Same one. Hand up. Good, that's one corner. Back down. Now do the other hand up. So you got your two top corners. So top corner one, and then top corner two, just like this, okay? If you wanna make a fist, that's okay too. You can make a fist, okay? So now, the parents or teachers, what you guys are gonna do, the parents, you're gonna come and do a few times on one side. So you're gonna come like, use your, use your right hand or just do one side, and you're gonna come down and you're gonna try and strike that top corner. Do that maybe like five, 10 times, then switch to the other top corner. Okay, and we're going to practice that. Okay, ready, go. Yeah, just, just stick with the top corners for now. We'll get to the bottom ones in a minute. Not good. Camera, just go over your head. You got to go up over the top of your head. All the way up, all the way up. There it is, good. Good. Okay, everybody freeze for one second. Give me two claps. Okay, we're going to go back to this in a second. Yeah, for, for the kids, make sure you guys don't have noodle arms, okay? If I go like this to block, that's not going to protect you, okay? You got to have muscles. So if somebody came, they think like, um, you know, somebody's pressing down on you. This hand's not going anywhere, okay? It's the roof on a house. It's not going to fall down. It's not going to collapse. So when they come to bop you, you got to have some muscles, okay? So squeeze your arms. All right, let's try that again. Top two corners for another 30 seconds. Good job. Okay, everybody freeze. All right, two claps. Okay, now parents, we're going to go to those bottom corners, okay? So all the kids, ready? Put your hands up. Get in your, spar get in your ready position. So one foot in front, one foot in back, okay? Every go like this, all the kids, go low, and then bring it back, and then go low. So one side, and then the other side. So one side down, bring it up, and then the other side down, and then bring it back up. Okay, so now all the parents, this one, think about like you're going you're gonna, to you know, try and tap them on their hips. Okay, so you're coming low corner, and then low corner. Okay, and the kids, you guys are going to practice those low ones, low and low. All right, 30 seconds, go. Good job. Okay, freeze. Okay. All right, guys, next, we're going to go into all four. Okay, so all the kids, get in your position. Put your hands up. Okay, so you are ready. Okay? If my hands are down like this, everybody watch. Watch, Trenchy. If my hands are down like this and somebody comes and tries to hit me in the head, I got to go all the way from here, all the way up. That's, that's time that you don't have. Okay? So now, hands are going to be here. Parents, you guys can do this however you want, okay? You can go top, top, bottom, bottom. You can go one corner, low corner, okay? So kids, you guys have to do your reaction. So you're going to, if they come high, 
block high. If they come low, block low. You got to be ready for all four corners. Okay, ready, go. Says they are. Do you have any promotions, you know? Okay, yame guys, every freeze. Okay, everybody give me two claps. All right, all the, uh, just take a knee for a second, just so I can, I'll teach you guys this next thing. Okay, so that was four corner blocking. That was your star this week. Next up, we're going to jump back to what we were talking about with strangers. So who remembers, what was step one of staying safe? Do you remember? <laughs> Starts with an A. Uh, yeah, every say awareness. awareness. Step number two, every say voice. voice. So we practice that. Okay, now we're going to practice. Let's say, you know, maybe we were aware, but maybe we weren't. So now somebody comes up and they actually get a hold of us. Okay, so we weren't aware enough to, to keep our distance, and now they come up and they grab our hand. Okay, so. What I want everybody to do is, everybody say thumb. thumb. You are going to go toward the thumb of your parent. Okay, so um, Ella, can I borrow you for a second? All right, guys, so ready? Ella grabs me. I wasn't ready enough. Okay, I didn't pay attention enough. Okay, first thing that I do is what? Awareness. I didn't do so great with that maybe. Okay, what's the second thing? Use voice. voice. So I'm going to yell, and I'm going to yell as loud as I can. Okay, you could yell help, you could yell stranger, you could yell fire, but you're going to yell something super, super loud. And you're going to yell it over and over and over again. Okay, so for this one, let's, do it. let's go with you're a stranger. Okay, Nicholas, keep that down. Okay, so you're a stranger. That's, that's what you're going to say. So they grab your hand. You're going to yell, you're a stranger. Yeah. Super, okay. Then, everybody say clap. Every say, st actually, I should have done this the other way. Okay, every say, stomp. stomp. Now, we're not going to really stomp on our parents' foot, right? But we're going to pretend. Okay, so if this was real, I would stomp on their foot. In karate, I'm going to stomp next to the foot. Okay, then I clap my hands together. Then I see that thumb. Okay, so if the thumb is up top, I go up top. If the thumb was down low, so she grabbed with the other hand, her thumb's down here now, I go down. Okay. Because I want to go to one thumb instead of four fingers and a palm. Okay, that's really, tar that's really hard. That has a lot of muscle in it. Okay, so I find the thumb. So if it's high, I go up. And if it's low, I go down. Okay, everybody say, oh! oh. So we're going to practice that 30 seconds or so. Okay, so adults, you guys grab their hand. It's easier if you stay the same side. Okay, uh, and just help them with that. So yell, you're a stranger. Then you pretend to stomp on their foot, and then you're going to try and clap and pull your hand away. Yeah. Yeah, that adds some muscles to it. Good. When you clap them together, it adds some muscle. No, put them together, Cameron. <laughs> yeah, I should say clap them together, <laughs> not, not just a clap. <laughs> We're not applauding them. Come on. You went the right direction. That was good.
Okay, another few seconds. All right, yummy, everybody, two claps. Okay. All right, all the kids, sit down for a second. So parents, we're going to go over this pretty quick today, so, you know, practice this kind of stuff at home. All right, so somebody grabs your wrist, okay? Uh, I said clap. I didn't mean, like, clap like you clap for a, a, a promotion or something. Uh, when you clap, you put your hands together. That doubles your strength, okay? So now I got one strength. Now I got two strengths, okay? Um, all right, so the other thing that you can do, if somebody grabs your wrist, we're going to try every say Velcro. Does anybody have Velcro on their shoes? Yeah. What does it do? It sticks together, right? So that's what Velcro does. So if somebody comes and grabs you, okay, Isla, can I borrow you? Actually, you could do this with your sister. Okay, let's say your sister grabs your hand, okay? First steps are the same. You yell, okay? So yell, you're a stranger. Yeah, you, you want to be really loud, okay? Then... Okay, you're gonna do, you can do a stomp again. Then what you're going to do is I want you to drop down on the ground. So ready, Isla? Drop down. And I want you to wrap your hands and your feet around her leg. Like you're hugging her leg with your hands and your feet. Yep. Both of them. Yep. Lock them together. So now what is she? She's Velcro around the leg. Okay? Because if you're a kid and I'm an adult, okay, and I'm holding your hand, I can pick you up pretty easy. Okay? You guys are little. Okay, now if she's holding on as tight as she can and she's got that leg, guess what? If Ainsley was an attacker, now not only does she need to carry this kid and she needs to try and maneuver with her stuck to her leg, this kid's yelling and screaming as loud as she can. That takes a long time, right? A stranger wants to, if they were going to try and take you, they want to grab you and they want to go as quickly as possible. Now she's yelling, she's screaming, you've got to drag them around. Okay, it's harder and a stranger will hopefully give up and they'll just they'll they'll leave okay but at the very least now you have other people you're building time where other people can come and help you okay so we're going to practice that velcro technique so they grab your hand you yell you're a stranger in real life we'd be yelling over and over and over again we won't do that for noise in here but you'd be yelling as many times you can top of your lungs you're going to drop to the ground you're going to wrap hands and feet around their leg uh, if you are somewhere like on the playground and you, you know, you can wrap around a bike or something that you have too. Okay. Now they're like trying to carry you and a bike and it's, it's crazy. Right. But, but for now we're just going to practice the Velcro technique on the leg. Okay. So everybody stand up. Let's do it like two times. Cause we're just about out of time. Okay. So grab the wrist, yell Velcro around their leg. We're not doing that one, Nicholas. Now we're dropping down, grab on the leg. Drop up. Good. <laughs> Good. Good job, guys. All right. Y'all made everybody two claps. So that one's definitely effective. Okay. Last thing, all the kids, sit down. Last thing we're talking about for self defense today. If you are getting attacked, okay, and it's an adult that's attacking you, right? If you punch me in the stomach as an adult, is that going to do anything to me? No, okay? Even if you're really strong, you punch me in the stomach as an adult, that's not going to hurt me, okay? So if you are doing this, well, what did I teach you earlier? What do we stomp on? The foot. The foot. Everybody say foot. foot. Everybody say shin. Okay, that's this part of the leg right here, or knee, you know, shin, okay? Um, everybody say eyes. eyes. Nose. Nose. Okay, throat. throat. Now, these are all very serious. These are not things you play around with. But if I'm a big adult, I can be seven feet tall, and you kick me in the shin, it still hurts a lot. Okay, you punch me in the stomach, doesn't do anything, okay? If I'm eight feet tall, and I'm a huge, huge person, and you poke me in the eye, that hurts. I can't protect, it doesn't matter how big you are, you don't build muscle over your eyes. You don't build muscle over your shin, okay? Um, so those are some places that you would want to try and hit to loosen that person up, okay? Because when they grab you, they have a lot of muscle and they have a lot of focus on what they're doing. 
But then you kick them in the shin, and guess what? What does their brain do? It goes down. Oh, my God, my shin hurts. And hopefully they let go of you altogether, but at the very least, they're not holding you as tight because they're thinking about the pain. Okay, so that's what we want to do with self-defense. Everybody say, oh. oh! All right, you guys did excellent today. I think everybody earned an ice cream. Okay, on the way out, we have the ice cream truck. Okay, so um, Sensei Ari is going to finish your class up today and, and do that. You guys did awesome, okay? Practice those things at home that we worked on.